Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use VUV, which is also known as Tencent Meeting in China. So here is VUV Meeting. If you want to schedule appointments, you can. It's very similar to Zoom. So there's your schedule. You can obviously put in a topic here, maybe the name of your student, and you can put in a time and a date, obviously the duration. I have 50 minute classes, so I put in an hour. And also, you know, if I need to go over, I can. Now you can do recurring, um, so every Thursday, and you can, I just do this off in the future. Da, 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 da. Um, but you can save it to your calendars if you want to. And there's all these other things that you can look at. So it's totally up to you, schedule that in. And if you've got a trial class, I usually just do that. Copy the meeting, send it in WeChat. All right, now. If you want to join a meeting, you can, but typically I'm the one hosting the meetings. So I usually would just press enter when it's the right time. And it comes up in a nice little way there. Um, I'm gonna show you the features. I'm just gonna start a video now to show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it is pretty similar to Zoom. You can start your video, share screen, you can invite attendees, you've got a chat. You can record the lesson, which a lot of parents like you to record and send it to them. You can use WeTransfer to send it big files. You can even do breakout rooms for when you do group lessons uh, and so on. I also like to have a <laughs> background and beauty. You can beautify yourself or you can add a background. Now I um, do like adding backgrounds for myself. Um, so you can add that in or do a beauty filter. Um, yes, all of those things. And if you've got a green screen, so lots of fun options there. Now I just want to show you what it looks like when you share your screen. It's very, very similar to Zoom except it's free, woohoo, that's the main difference. Um, okay, so I'm sharing my um, screen, so I'd be showing my curriculum. With annotation, you just go up here, you can write on the screen, the students can also write on the screen, you can actually type on the screen too, um, and lots of other things. My graphics, I usually like to circle things, or I like to put things in squares, please read this. Um, the square one is nice too, because if you want to underline something, you can just use that. Um, so you can play around with that. Now it does have a whiteboard option. So if you want to use a whiteboard, um, you can do new share here um, and do a whiteboard. And that way you can write and draw on that. And then you can save it and send it to the parents, which is quite nice. However, there is another trick, which I always love to do, instead of going to a whiteboard, is I usually just um, draw a picture in the background, a big wide picture. So I'll go to annotate, um, square, yeah. And so I'll just have, I don't know, I might choose a yellow one. And just do the whole screen yellow, and draw a pen down the middle, and then we can draw like that. Um, if I need to save it, then I can also use the um, snipping tool. Everyone loves the snipping tool. Now to get out of this, then with my annotations, I just press clear and it's gone. Um, so it's a nice way to kind of have a whiteboard, especially if there's lots of text on the screen and you know, the pictures don't come nicely. Um, so yeah, you can see the students on here. There are ways to mute them. Um, and there are also ways to prevent them from using the annotation as well. Um, annotation, it says allow other attendees to annotate. So if you click that off, then they won't be able to annotate, um, which is quite nice because then if they're messing around like kids do, then that's um, what you can do there. You've also got a spotlight to show people where to look and read. Um, lots of lovely, lovely features on here for a great software that is free. So if you want to go out, you just press end meeting and goodbye, Vive.